Hey, what's going on? It's Tyler, it's aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right. So, happy Merry Christmas Eve, everybody. Yeah, man. I can't believe tomorrow's already Christmas. Jeez. Anyways, though, so in this video, we'll be talking about the extremely crazy addition to GTA Online the up in atomizer ray gun or pulse gun whatever you want to call it it's crazy it's seriously op as you can see there it is wild and in this video i'm going to be talking about how i got it kind of giving you like a play-by-play -play tutorial on what to do what to expect and then once you have it some of the things you can do with it so this gun is obtained by winning business battles okay However, it's only a particular type of business battle, and even that particular type is going to be random. As you see right here, when you go into a lobby, you want to find the business battle that says Event Cargo. That's the only one that's going to trigger this, as you see right here. However, only a random percentage of the Event Cargo business battles will yield the Up and Atomizer gun. The other ones will just give you rare Christmas sweaters, okay? So what you want to do, basically, and what I was doing, um, you have to go through lobby to lobby, you just kind of spam find new session until you get into a lobby that has an active business event. And in that business event, you have to look for one that is a event cargo, all right? And you're not going to know which one is going to give you the gun or which one's going to give you a rare tacky Christmas sweater right so you have to go through this and of course if you guys don't know business battles are done in public sessions you have to have at least three people in that public session and you cannot all be in the same MC or CEO group now I do recommend for you that you be in a CEO that way you can use ghost organization to help hide you throughout this thing now sometimes the ghost organization it's weird sometimes it'll hide you and then i've heard from some people that it doesn't it's just i don't know but i would recommend for 12 grand to avoid any kind of headache just to use it okay uh and if not then that's fine too now you can participate in business battles even if you do not own a nightclub because these came with the nightclub dlc however instead of driving just a mile or two miles back to your nightclub which is probably in the city you have to go five or six miles all the way out to some other location which can get very precarious and you will become target to other people that are wanting to steal that event cargo business battle so they can get the gun themselves all right now i've heard rumors that they will give this gun free on christmas i don't know if that's true i don't think that this doesn't make sense to be honest why would they make people go through all the trouble of going through the business battles just to give it away a couple of days later for free with no issue at all but it's rockstar who knows right so um you know maybe they take it away we don't know so once you deliver that business battle, what I have noticed is that sometimes there'll be two crates. So there'll be a vehicle, you can blow it up, it'll be two crates. If you get the sweater, of all the business battles I did with this, if you get the sweater, the other crate is going to be the sweater as well. I did not know this, but at the time I was getting both crates, both business battle actual little loot crates, because I thought maybe if I got a sweater on one, the gun would be in the other. That is from all my testing and doing this probably 15 times until I got the gun. There is no one crate is a gun, one crate is a sweater. Not that I have encountered. If you get one sweater, the other crate's going to be a sweater. So you may not need to go back and, and get the other uh, actual business battle crate. It'll save you from getting into you know battles with other people and things like that. So whatever. Now what I did notice is that once I did get the gun both crates contained the gun so if you are working with a friend and you get one and you got the gun and go, hey man go ahead and get the other one I got it that should be a gun as well so the two crates will be the same that's kind of the point that I'm making right here which is nice nothing wrong with that now what you got to do say you get an event cargo it's just a sweater you need to immediately just like you saw in the video go to your options your menu screen and go to find new session 
wait for about 20 30 seconds and a business event battle should pop up if it doesn't then find new session or it may be the wrong type of business battle either way check out what it says and then act accordingly now there's several different types of vehicles you can use for this okay i would recommend either a mark ii a buzzard or a jetpack those vehicles will be very very advantageous to get you around the map they've got decent weaponry i'd probably overall recommend the mark ii or the jetpack simply because they have countermeasures you could use the deluxo as well it's a little bit slower um you could use the akula but the Akula is a little bit more difficult to get in and out of uh, certain places. And once, you know, you can be off the radar, but once you have been spotted, you know, you don't have any countermeasures, okay? So that can be an issue. As you see right here, you know, business battle either didn't pop up or it was the wrong one. So I just go back to find new session. And make sure you have your spawn location set to previous location. So if you're just standing in the street, it'll spawn you right back in that same area. It's much quicker that way. All right, if you're like inside your apartment, your apartment has to load up and it takes an extra like 30 seconds. It just gets, you know, kind of annoying over over time. See right here once again. Nothing came up. I'm waiting, waiting, chilling, chilling. See what's happening, chilling. Got my gun out in case somebody tries to try something. Bam, business battle event cargo. Okay, so here we go. And we're looking for the green box crate on your radar. And that crate will have a B inside of it, as you see right here. It's that green crate that has a B. The green crate means that it's ready to be taken. If it turns red, that means somebody else has taken it, and you have to go kill them and fight them. Now, I had some epic battles. I wasn't able to record them because they just took a while. But, yeah, I had some epic battles. I, <laughs> it's kind of I don't like to just go randomly kill people and things like that, but it forces you to do that if somebody else has it, and it forces you to defend yourself as well. I don't, you know, if anybody else was out there, if they were just minding their own business, I didn't fool with them, please don't be killing people at random. If they're trying to make money, leave them alone. However, if they have a business battle crate, you know, you got to do what you got to do, but don't, you know, don't try and keep messing with them. And if you get a sweater, just know, like I said, with my testing, the other crates going to be a sweater as well. All of the crates that I got that were like that were the same thing. They were all, you know, if it, if it was a sweater, both crates were sweater. If it was the gun, my other crew member got the gun. So I know that both crates were the gun and they sent me a message. Let me know that. All right. So keep that in mind. At the time, though, I did not know that. So I was going back for both of them, thinking that maybe one was different than the other, but they are not, not from my testing. All right. Now, once again, that may be a possibility down the road. You see, I delivered that one, and it said clothing unlocked, blue slang sweater. So I went back. I was like thinking maybe this will be the gun. Let's find out. I picked that one up. And remember, don't forget, use your ghost uh, or ghost your uh, your uh, organization so you go off the radar as, as best you can it gives you three minutes okay that, that definitely helps out and as you saw right there I got the clothing again so now look at this I spawned into a lobby and I was like oh it's a event cargo no it just says cargo so it's not the right type of business battle you'll get some that say weapon some that say product those will not give you the gun or the rare sweaters okay so just leave the session and find a new one as you see right here, we were about to do a crew car show, a business, and this isn't a crew lobby, okay? So they will spawn in uh, other types of lobbies as long as you have more than three people, which is nice. Uh, I believe just a minute ago I said it's got to be a public lobby. Well, technically it's got to be public with three people or more, all right? So it could be, uh, you know, but this was a crew lobby that we were in. So my one of my crew members blew up the case. I took one. My other member got the other one, and bam, there it is. Weapon unlock up an atomizer, and you get a festive tint as well. And this person sent me a message saying, hey, I got the gun as well. So I had proof that both crates were the gun. So you can split those and help out a friend or somebody else. And this gun is ridiculously OP. It's got good range. I'm going to have a video uh, reviewing it and testing it here uh, later today. It's got good range. It, it is lethal. It's a non-lethal and lethal at the same time, if that makes any sense. Uh, so, you know, I will, I will talk about that in the other video. But this thing is, it's so OP. You thought the Mark II was bad. You thought the Oppressor is bad. This guy is going to be a top troll 
tactic, a top troll uh, device in this game. Seriously, it's very, very, <laughs> it's corny, it's cheesy. That's what GTA is now. It's corny and cheesy, but it is fun at the same. I'm not gonna lie. For an hour, I was just sitting around doing this with cars, just blowing them up. And you can use it to your benefit. I'm going through another business battle right here, and I'm marking out these NPCs. And you know, if somebody you can auto lock, you can auto lock with this gun as well. So if somebody rolls by you with a, a Mark II, or someone's rolling up on you on a car, you can have a little bit of asshole, you know, <laughs> control with this gun. So, um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm going back here, and you can use it with the. I was using a business. I haven't used it in like a heist or a mission yet. Uh, so I don't know if it'll work in those. I'm I'm sure it would. I but I don't know, so I can't say definitely. But this is another business battle, and it definitely works, man. It blows these NPCs off their feet. A couple of shots will kill them. You know, uh, if it's up close, one shot should do the trick. But if not, it's almost a guaranteed two. But yeah, man, it's just, it's crazy. It's such a, it is fun. It is cool. But it is corny as hell. It is cheesy. And it is a definitely going to be a troll tactic used. Uh, so, <laughs> I mean, use it at your own risk, right? You see right here, just blew these guys. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, dude. They're going to go flying through the air. And like I said, you know, it, it will help out for certain situations. Uh, I didn't I didn't put the video, the, the clip in here, but I had a, uh, a another player roll up on me on this. And they were trying to kill me. I just blasted their car a couple of times. And I was able to get onto my bike and get out of there. So, you know, showing the range off again. It's just, uh, <laughs> it's crazy, man. It's just a weird-ass gun. So that's how I got it. That's how you should probably get this gun as well. Just follow my steps right there. And it didn't take too long. It was only a day or so. That that was the kid right there. He came back. I had to shoot his car a couple times. But, yeah, so that's it. If you guys got any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at TylariusYT. Check out my Instagram, Tylarius underscore YT. Check out my merch, redbubble.com, search Tylarius. And Spreadshirt.com, search Tylarius. I got some fire merch definitely for the holidays too. Got some good discounts. But yeah, get this gun. Everyone else is going to have it, so take the time to do it. Subscribe to my channel for the illest or realest content in the game. Make sure you smash, I mean, smash that like button. Merry Christmas, everybody, and stay dangerous. Yeah.